Hey everybody, Tubal Cane here again. Nice sunny day, I figured I'd spend a little time outside before I get cooped up for the day working. I want to give a shout out to uh, Vancouver, BC Flat Earther for that Project Potato phrase he said the other day. Fuck Project Blue Beam, how about Project Potato? He had me laughing all day, bro. Then, with because I have kids and they play with Mr. Potato Head, I started thinking about Project Potato Head and then Project Potato Skins. Oh, good one. Thank you for that. This video today is back on about, you know, truth and our buddy Mock Sargent. When you think about really what he gave everybody, they were allegedly already factual. It's not like they were uncovered or hidden. They were out there in plain sight that he compiled from other people. So whether those people were truth seekers or putting out truth for Mark to take as truth, who knows. But according to his last show, he was talking about his new show, which is going to be more conspiracy-oriented to draw more people towards the flat earth, allegedly. Because we know Mark is a big conspiracy freak, as he said himself. The thing that I don't understand is if you're into conspiracy, and have been for a long time, as most of us have gone down the rabbit holes, we will all assume that the military-industrial complex is behind a lot of the problems we face today, not only in America, but almost every society, whether it's our military or somebody else's military. Somehow they're all intertwined, and they're all making money and spending money and taking lives. So, I just want to remind people about Dwight D. Eisenhower's speech when he was leaving office. One part of it, it's, you you know, again, do your own research, as Mark says, but look up Dwight D. Eisenhower's speech, where he talks about the military-industrial complex. And I'll leave, or I'll read just one little part of it, where he says, In the councils of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. The potential for the disastrous rise of a misplaced power exists and will persist. So even Dwight D. Eisenhower tried to tell the people, do not trust the military-industrial complex, do not give them power, they will try to get more power. So why would a person who is going to be doing shows about conspiracies, believes in conspiracies, has been studying them, going to be doing a show about them, only interview really military people. Even Eisenhower told us not to trust military people. So, just, uh, if the military industrial complex is a problem, and Mark Sargent only interviews military people with these so-called testimonials. Why would we trust you? Why should we? Why should we trust anything anyone you interview says? Especially if they have military background. When we're taught. Not so much taught. We're taught to trust the military. But if you're looking into conspiracies and what's going on in the world and you think there's problems and the military's part of it and the government's part of it, then why would we be listening to a guy who only interviews military people and expect us to trust that? Now, I guess if you're a youth and you haven't had much world experience and your real experiences just come from YouTube and Instagrams, I can understand why you would easily listen to and accept the word of someone that rings true to you, resonates with you. And as Mark himself has even said it, he's a nerd. He tried to say he's a tri-lamb, lamb to lambda, but no, he's a true nerd. Listen to him talk about car engines and comic books and movies. That's a nerd. So we know Mark didn't have sex in that room. That was the humiliation ritual. Because the only time a man should be ridden 
is when he's on his back and the female is straddling him hip to hip not on your hands and knees being ridden like a little bitch that's not a man and so that email Mark read from it seemed like a teenager giving Mark praise about being the man for getting laid on his business trip because that's what Americans do and fuck yeah Mark you're an American you're the example of an American I don't know what America I live in anymore See, I was raised in the, in the America that there was a difference between men and women. You treated them differently, and you treated each other differently. Men treated men a certain way, men treated women a different way. Correct. A real man would have banged the hell out of both of them chicks all weekend. Probably would have been periscoping it giving high fives and Masonic hand signals while banging the shit out of those chicks. But that's not what Mark Sargent did because he's a eunuch. He has no sexual desire. And that is what is heralded as a, an American man by young people. So I'm living in a different world. An asexual eunuch who is pimping a pile of bullshit who only deals with the military industrial complex, which we all know is a piece of shit too. So keep going ahead, clapping your hands, putting Mark up on the pedestal, getting ready for his new conspiracy show, distancing himself from the pile of bullshit for a little bit while she takes some heat. Have fun. But flat lines matter, not you, Mark. A Vancouver, BC. I forgot to explain Mixer to you. All right, the reason Mark Sargent and Patty Steer use the term Mixer, that is a term that is used for middle schoolers, kids around the age of 11, 12, 13, 14, who are just starting to reach puberty and are socially awkward with the opposite sex. So in middle school, you would have things called Mixers. You could get together, the boys and the girls, you would stand on one side, the girls would be on the other side, the chaperones would be there, the punch, the teachers. And so it was basically called a mixer, a chaperoned little gathering of teenagers so they could get to meet the opposite sex in a social situation, not in a classroom. So that is why I said it was gay when Mark and Bullshitter were saying they were going to have mixers. My middle school daughter doesn't even go to her mixers. So that's why they use the term mixer Vancouver, flat earth Vancouver, because that's gay, it's immature, it's asexual, and they're like a bunch of little teenagers steering you down the fucking wrong path of bullshit. Out.